There are few sounds more pleasing to an aviation specialist than the quiet hum of a well-maintained aircraft. The subtle noise indicates that propellers and rotors are balanced, plus vibration and noise are minimized, so flight is smooth and peaceful. But the benefits of balancing go beyond what is seen, heard, or felt. A properly balanced propeller or rotor reduces instrument, avionics, and engine wear, helps to prevent catastrophic engine failure, and prolongs aircraft life. Balancing helps ensure that flights are not only smooth, but also safe. Everyone knows that proper balancing and good maintenance takes the right tools, and that's something we take pride in at ACES Systems, creating better aviation maintenance solutions. All products in the ACES Systems family share the common traits of ease of use and versatility. Our products measure engine vibration, noise levels, monitor and trend engine performance, as well as perform dynamic propeller balancing and rotor track and balancing. The ACES Systems Model 2020 Pro Balancer Analyzer is a visionary tool for performing propeller balancing and rotor track and balancing. This tool is easy to use. On-screen instructions step you quickly and easily through balance jobs, so you need little to no training in propeller or rotor balancing. Beyond simple balancing, the Model 2020 offers the advanced feature of full spectral analysis, allowing you to view a wide range of minute frequencies for all rotating components. The Model 2020 also accepts data from two channels simultaneously, allowing you to compare vibration frequencies from two propellers or rotors, facilitating and increasing the accuracy of balancing. The remainder of this video will step through the operation of the Model 2020 Pro Balancer Analyzer. Part 1 will concentrate on balancing. Part 2 will be an overview of how to use the instrument for spectral analysis. This video presents only the basic steps needed to get you up and running. The video cannot replace the detailed information found in your user's manual. Refer to it frequently to help you through the process of performing propeller or rotor balancing. Before beginning, it's important to familiarize yourself with your new equipment. The Model 2020 Pro Balancer Analyzer comes with these basic accessories. The Model 2020, a battery charger, a communications cable for connection to a printer, computer, and a user's manual. The Model 2020 Propeller Balancing Kit includes the basic accessories just described, plus everything else you'll need to do the job. The Phototac Speed Sensor, the Phototac Mount Assembly, Reflective Tape, and the 25-foot Tachometer Sensor Cable. The 991 Vibration Sensor, the 1 quarter by 28 Vibration Sensor Mount, an 8-piece Case Bolt Adapter Set, and the 25-foot Vibration Sensor Cable. The Propeller Balancing Kit also includes a Pocket Pro Tackle Box, a protractor, a digital gram scale, the FAA-approved ACES Systems Guide to Propeller Balancing, and this training video. Now you're ready to begin. Before you start the balance job, complete an inspection of the propeller assembly in accordance with the ACES Systems Guide to Propeller Balancing. When the inspection is complete, you are ready for the equipment setup. The first step is to install the photo tack to the aircraft. About a foot from the back surface of the target blade, install the phototac at a selected clock position. Remember this clock position for later entry in the setup. A five degree angle perpendicular to the target blade produces the best result. Use speed tape or duct tape to secure the base mount to the cowling surface. Attach the tachometer cable to the phototac connector. Route the cable away from hot areas and electrical equipment into the cockpit. Attach to the tack channel according to the application. If balancing two engines, it is best to attach to the channel number matching the engine number. Remember the selected channel for later entry in your setup. Secure the cable route with duct tape or tie wraps. Pick a point on the back side of the target blade to place the reflective tape. Hold about a two inch strip of reflective tape in position on the propeller blade. Visually align the tape with the phototac lens. Clean the area where you intend to place the reflective tape. Note the position and remove the backing from the tape. Install the tape and smooth out edges and any bubbles under the tape. Standing forward looking aft, install the vibration sensor and note the clock position for later entry in the setup. Use the case bolt adapter and sensor mount found in your kit as necessary. Attach the vibration sensor cable to the sensor connector. Route the cable back to the cockpit, avoiding hot areas and electrical equipment. 
secure in the same manner as the tachometer cable. Attach to the sensor channel specified. To start a balance job with the Model 2020, you must first load a setup. A setup is information stored in the analyzer's memory for rapid configuration. To accomplish this, first turn the analyzer on. Use the up and down arrows to navigate the screen until the selection Propeller Balance is highlighted. Press Enter. The screen will display the Propeller Balance banner across the top. Select Manage Setups by using the up and down arrows and then press Enter. The Prop Balance Setup screen appears. Select and press Edit. Default values in some fields appear automatically, but can be changed to more appropriate data. Enter a name for the setup by using the analyzer keypad. Let's say your plane is a warrior, and that's the name you've chosen for your setup. The letter W is the third option on the key. Press the key three times rapidly, and the letter W appears in the name field. Wait two seconds and enter the next letter. In this case, the letter A is the second option on the key. Press the key two times rapidly and wait two seconds. Proceed until the correct name appears on the screen. If you make a mistake, use the right and left arrow keys to position the cursor to the right of your mistake. Press the clear key, then select the correct letter. Use the down arrow to progress to the next field, engine horsepower. Use the keypad and enter the rated horsepower of the engine. The balancing RPM is the speed at which you intend to balance. A low cruise RPM is best. Enter the low cruise speed or the speed at which the noise and vibration complaint occurs, whichever you feel is more appropriate for your aircraft. In the max balance weight field, enter the maximum amount of weight allowable for that propeller. Refer to the ACES system's guide to propeller balancing for this figure. Beginning with the next field, number of engines, note that the entry boxes for the rest of the screen have pointed ends. The information for the pointed end boxes cannot be entered from the keypad. Instead, use the right and left arrows to navigate to the most appropriate selection. A default number of one appears in the number of engines field. If you're balancing two engines, press the right arrow. After you press the down arrow to leave the field, the remaining fields automatically make the appropriate changes to accommodate two engines. The direction of rotation is from a viewpoint of forward looking aft, FLA. The rotation field is set at the default direction of CW for clockwise. If incorrect, press the right arrow. Your propeller balancing kit includes an optical tack. For the tack type field, use the right and left arrows to select optical, unless you're using another type. Tack channel corresponds to the tack input port from the tachometer used for balance. Choose either one or two if balancing a single engine. If balancing two engines, channel one defaults to the number one engine and channel two defaults to the number two engine. TAC position FLA indicates the orientation of the TAC sensor you're using as compared to hours on a clock. TAC position is viewed forward looking aft. Use this physical position every time this setup is used for balancing to shorten the number of runs required. Use the right and left arrows to navigate to the correct hour corresponding to your tack position. Select sensor type from the list of sensors in the sensor directory. If your sensor is not included, refer to the user's manual for directions on how to add your particular type sensor to the directory. For the sensor channel field, pick either A or B unless you're balancing two engines. With two engine balancing, a defaults to the number one engine and B to the number two engine. If performing a dual rotational plane balance, navigate to select A and B with A as the front sensor and B as the rear sensor. Sensor position FLA is determined in exactly the same manner as the tech position FLA. After all fields are correctly entered, press the enter key to accept and store the setup data. Next, from the main menu screen, select Propeller Balance and press Enter. From the Propeller Balance screen, select Start a Job and press Enter. From the Start a Job selection, the setup list will appear on the screen. From the setup list, select the setup you entered. 